even when they go use the restroom and close the door behind them, they have something up there saying, vote no against the union. Amazon actually had the city to come out there and recalibrate the red lights so they can't stop and chat with us. They are coming and stopping us from working, doing our jobs to basically ram the information in our heads about why we shouldn't have a union. Uh, the kind of union bus that I've been seeing from Amazon has been uh, very far-fetched. I want to say around uh, the first week in November, that's at about the time they hired their union busters to try to disrupt everything, to try to confuse disinformation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think they're pretty much scared because don't, no, don't nobody want to lose their job. Why are we being punished for trying to seek help? We are supposed to seek help when we feel like we are being mistreated. Amazon actually had the city to come out there and recalibrate the red lights. There was a truck on across the field that had been sitting there for about two hours. And so we went over to him and he said, no, no guys, I'm just here to do a traffic study. Um, right there at our red light where we stand. And then they stayed there for the rest of that day. And from that day forward, those red lights were completely different. And the reason they do that is when they come down the exit, that red light will turn green. And they have to keep going. Oh, because people so they can't stop there. and chat with them. A person might pull up and say, hey, uh, can you answer this quick question for me? By the time she gets that out of her mouth, the light has changed green that quick. Caused an accident since we've been out there. Big Mike almost got hit. Two cars crashed and jumped up on the block while I was standing there. I had to literally jump off the block, get back up and try to help the people to make sure they was okay. One young lady, whole front end of the car was off. So I was just luckily by the grace of God that I got out the way. we go to the bathroom in, the, in your stall, in the men's bathroom. Soon as you go to the stall, you got an anti-union flyer right there in front of you. You got, you got flyers in the break room. You got when you walking in and walking out, you got big banners saying early vote, vote no. It really touched me in a way when they started having the classroom teachings about why we shouldn't have a union because as a part of leadership, I didn't get the proper training that I needed. They're taking people to numerous uh, meetings a day. Some of the younger people are kind of confused. They're afraid because Amazon told them in the meeting uh, that if you get the union, your benefits will be taken away, which is not true. So, you know, Amazon has played with that system. They're scared. And, uh, well, they're you know, they're not scared of us. They're scared of the people coming together and empowering yourself and finally saying enough is enough. Amazon is moving in and they're dictating this. Um, to me, it's like they putting their foot on their neck. They continually to keep them down. And that's not something that we're not going to allow. The Black Lives Movement, we're not going to allow that. The RWDSU, we're not going to allow that. We're going to stay here. We're going to fight. We're gonna to continue to help, we're gonna to continue to fight and do whatever we think is necessary.